Well, this is where we've been living for. I did come here this morning with Mrs. It was absolutely pissing it down. But some come out about one. And I thought, this is it. Let's get down there. This is probably more health and safety than where it was ever at this pit. It is all uh, very civilised. But not a bad spot. Bit of a modern day stone circle. But a quite impressive uh, statue of a mine, if I do so, say myself. Sometimes it is vandalised and lamp gets sneaks, but well, what kind of person I don't know. My, my, uh, my normal camera is broke, so I'm <laughs> doing this on my phone. Chest foot over there. Hard recall, I don't know whether this will pick, pick it up. Now, hard recall there. And that's Nottinghamshire. I live approximately uh, four mile. <laughs> well, four mile that way somewhere. I tried to get a stick to focus here, but it's not good have it. Oh yeah, yeah there, about about four miles that way. And you can walk all over the fields. You do have to like cross one or two major roads. One actually. And then come down onto down onto trails and that's it. Derbyshire Dale's over there, the sun will be setting there. It's not I'm not really gonna hang around for a couple of hours because it's not really gonna be that kind of uh, a good sunset really, so I'm gonna get I'm going to get my hammock up, a bit of a fire going. <laughs> just being, just, just back in camp here, oh sorry, he's not a bad little camping thing. Hey Frederick. Ah, oh, you can camp a bit, you can. Right, see you later. Well, I've got me sitting down into it woods, snake wood, what you call it. From a distance, it, it does meander round, round this uh, one of these trails. But I mean, I love camping there. A lot of time, a lot of time, farmers is cows in here, so this is like kind of a cattle, a cattle track that, that they come through. Uh, I don't usually camp here when cows are here because, like, when you've got like cow shit, you've got flies. So. I used to camp here when cattle aren't here. Uh, they do make a mess. This usually is all dead muddy, but like year after year it all grows back. Look at this, you wouldn't even think that uh, cars would be here. You do hear a few, you do hear a few woodpeckers, owl, well, especially owls at night, lovely place. Uh, you don't have to be, you don't have to be chopping wood, making noises like that and uh, sawing it. You've, uh, You've got plenty of wood here, you know, and if you're camping in the woods, you're going to find wood we are, in my eyes anyway, we are, we are chopping it and sawing it down and letting everybody know where, where you're camping. I mean, your fire does that for you. Love this place, though. Little dog there likes to uh, think he can catch squirrels. It does, it does actually. <laughs> plenty, uh, plenty of places to put your hammock up. I mean, some of these trees are really well spaced out. You're not really, <coughs> pardon me, you're not really, you're not really looking for a for a, for a place to put an hammock up. 
plenty of wood. I mean, year after year I've come down here. I've come down here about like twice a year. And this is the first time this year, actually. Well, I mean, there's plenty of wood. Uh, what, what I like about this place, I mean, we're going a bit deeper into it now. But, uh, it's a lovely, lovely night. Where full moon and that. You've got this, you've got this bit of the clearing here. And come out in, uh, well, what shape in the sky? I mean, that looks good. That is good. And then and then back in as deep as you want to go. But there's always plenty of plenty of wood, plenty of wood in woods. You don't need to be chopping it and sorting it. Well, the sun's going down, and uh, I'm out in these woods, Teversal Woods. Uh, I like going for expensive stuff. Uh, this is my camp for tonight. It's uh, last year's gazebo. Heading for the tip. Uh, the uh, the hammock I get, I've got sheds full of it. Uh, old cricket netting. BT draw cord, looks a bit messy. Look at this, it has been pissing it down the last two days here. This is a dead damp wood. I haven't been rubbing those sticks together. I have bought a fire lighter from home. This is, I've, uh, I've dumped fire in dampest part really. This is no cattle run. Uh, yeah, you not notice that come, come Tuesday. Look at that. Old gazebo. Heading for the tip. Rubbish from the wife. Not the, not the right colour for a wood, fair enough. But look at this. Like I say, a bit messy. I always carry a bit, uh, a bit of string. You know, I mean, you never know when you want a bit of string. So, you know, you make a few pegs. get yourself sorted out. No chainsaw involved. <laughs> this lad can camp. <laughs> Look at that. You couldn't collect that wood yourself, could I don't do a lot of chopping and sawing. I like I like my fires to burn in on themselves, and it's like a spider's web. Uh, I do bring one thing with me now. It's from pound shop. It's for dog mainly. He he just uh, he just rolls in oh shit, cow shit, duck shit. Uh, his camera's not picking up this very good. Anyway, there's me. <laughs> There's my gazebo last year's. I don't, whether you'll, I don't think you'll catch it in here. Uh, there's there's me there's me hammock anyway, it's not gonna pick it up on here.
It is quite it is quite wet in, in this wood tonight. But then again we have had like two days of solid rain. It's five o'clock in the morning. I've just been woke up by that woodpecker. Not a drop of rain all night. It's about quarter to six, I've just got up. It's a lovely, it's a lovely morning really. Where, where my fire was. Still, still a bit damp down here. coming up over there. Oh come on. Well, that's us, Fred. Let's move out, lad. <laughs> 